So we're back to work on the bluebird. Uh, start out by layering color in. So I'm just going to continue to softly build layers. And notice that I am not, again, working with the tip of the pencil, but with the side of the pencil. Notice I am not holding my pencil way up here. I'm holding it back further. That gives me more of a light-handed approach because you want to slowly layer these to keep it as smooth as possible. So that may feel awkward to you. Also notice my pencil is very sharpened and it is not, um, I'm using the side of the tip. Having it very sharpened gives me much more length of colored pencil tip sticking out so that I can, when I do this side motion, I get a lot more color laid on with each movement. I can also go in a bit of a circular motion, which also keeps the streaking and lines down. Now sometimes I'm going to want some little lines because this is a bird and it does have um, feathers. So those lines can give me a feathered, feathered uh, look. Now there is a way to smooth all this out and blend it and make it look very solid and smooth with no streaks whatsoever and none of this texture. However, this is a bird. So I'm not really going to be making a lot of it super smooth, but there are areas where these the side wings are that do um, do end up, I'm sorry, as I'm working, sometimes my brain just stops talking. Uh, they do end up being more smooth. So we'll be doing a little bit of that. This is only going to be a 10 minute video and then I'll do some more. Now, in the interest of it, my bird staying in the same spot so it stays on the video, I'm trying not to change the position of my sketch pad, but when I'm working, I will turn it whichever way I need to to get a good angle at the area I'm working on. But notice how the colors get richer and more beautiful as I layer different colors and allow them to kind of blend as they layer. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on my photo over there to make decisions about where I want to put color. There's some black stripes that'll be coming in here as well. And the layering of the individual wings on like the tail and such. But those details will come in a little bit. Right now I just want to get this color laid in. So let's talk a little more about the blending that we're going to do in a minute. I guess there's a difference between blending and one term for blending is when you put these colors together in such a way that you do not see the streaking. Um, my idea of blending is layering the colors so you make new colors. It's blending the colors together. So in this instance, I'm talking about how these colors are overlapping to create the tones that we're wanting. However, I'm going to show you another use of the word blending it is basically I am pressing as hard as this pencil can press without breaking the tip and my goal is to make this eye look shiny like a bird's eye would look. Now I can't do that all in black and hold uh, that highlight. So I'm going to come in with my white pencil 
and I am going to now blend what's underneath by pressing hard on that black. See how I'm getting this nice white on top? I can also do that. Now I can do that with any color. that nice blended in. Now I'm going to get this beak because the beak is hard and shiny. So I want that effect in there. Probably going to want a little more color. Now what happens too when you're doing this is no matter what brand of pencil you're using, there is a certain amount of wax in it. The better the quality pencil, the less the wax, and the more layering of color you can get away with. Um, if you're using the store brand of colored pencil, or you're using brand colored pencil you're not going to be able to do all the things that I'm doing these are Prismacolor Premier uh, they are in my opinion some of the best out there they are worth the price you really should protect them at all costs from breaking you don't want to drop them you can purchase it Container such as this it opens up and it elastics them in place and it's padded and it allows you to carry them around and protect them. I highly recommend that. That case is, I don't know, about $25, $30 at Hobby Lobby. Your pencils, this set that I have, co would cost me uh, close to $400 if I paid retail. So protect your investment. I'm just going to continue layering color, layering, getting it looking the way I want it. It's a little more of a grayish tone up around his eyes. They're not quite as bright as the other blue. I said I've got a piece of paper off to the side that I can test colors yeah. to decide which ones I want. So I will keep doing that. I will probably be even layering in a bit of gray just to make sure this little guy has the proper tone going. There are also wax blending sticks that you can use, but again, once you get to that point where you've committed to the amount of color you've put on and you're ready to use those, they can intensify your color and blend out the little streaks if you're wanting that, um, but they will add a layer of wax and then you, it's virtually impossible to add any more color on top after that, so just be aware that that's something you're going to have to consider when you, you're adding more color. I think something you'll notice too with my art is that I rarely make my pieces photographic. That is my style. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm highly impressed by it. it just That's just not typically my style of art. Um, doing that is another style. There's a lot of really great YouTube artists out there and um, who could show you more on how to do that. So I am going to keep working on this little guy. I don't want us to have too long of a video. It makes them hard to upload. And I think you probably get bored with watching them as well. So I am going to sign off for now. I'm going to work on him a little more off video. And then I'll come back to you uh, when he's 
a little further along. Just going to keep adding in bits of color real quickly before I sign off. When I do the um, bottom bit, see how it's like a white, but I need to show the shadow. I'm going to come in with a little bit of this gray. Kind of show those edges. And I'll even do a little bit of color, but a lot of it will stay the white of the paper. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on Mr. Bluebeard over here, and I will uh, be back with you when I get a little further. I'll shoot another video. See you guys later.